Hi everybody, been a while since my last video. <clears throat> I think my last video was posted about eight or nine months ago maybe? <laughs> I can't remember. But anyway, I was walking through my local savers and I found this, well for those of you that don't know savers in their electronic section they have all these little cables and gadgets and bags and this was one of those things it's a uh, Sony Walkman WM FX 41 you can't really see uh, let me just make sure yep FX 41 it's in pretty good condition for its age it's from it's one of the later Walkman units it's from the early 90s I believe uh, <clears throat> not that bad and, um, of course it doesn't really work at the moment because the um, belt that's in that drives the um, tape mechanism is kinda turning to mush so I can't really demonstrate it at the moment until I get a new belt <clears throat> the um, FM radio function does work though I'm not gonna demonstrate it right now until I replace the belt anyway also, another nice thing about this is it's still able to run on batteries. Um, the previous owner didn't leave a set of, didn't leave old batteries in it, so the battery compartment's still clean. Because sometimes on these older battery-powered electronics, uh, people leave the batteries in, they leak, and they destroy the contacts, which is a pain in the ass to fix sometimes. Uh, this one probably can't see it. Uh, let's see. Hold on, let me get a flashlight. Nice and clean. Also, I will um, note that I'm not filming this on my iPad this time. I'm filming this on my uh, Nexus 5X. I want to see if that improves anything. See if just testing the quality out on this new phone. Anyway. <clears throat> also, um, which I think, I'm not sure if it's really a unique feature. I think it might be, but if you remove those... Oh yeah, you notice how if I remove those batteries that the time still stays on. That's because there's a soldered on clock battery on the um, board. <clears throat> Not sure exactly why they did it, but they did it. It does hold a charge still, which is surprising. But, yeah. In order to open this thing, what you do, well, you don't really need to remove this clip, but if you do want to remove it, you lift, and you can kind of see, you lift up here, and it pops off like that. Easy. In order to open this thing, what you gotta do is, there's four very tiny Phillips head screws. I recommend getting something like a precision screwdriver set, something like this, if, especially if you're going to be doing work on electronics often, because you're going to encounter a lot of small screws like this. But it's four screws, and then you just got to get something like a black stick or something, or if you're very careful, a flat blade screwdriver and pry open this cover. And then you have access to the innards. This thing also has auto reverse for the cassette deck. What that means is instead of when you when <clears throat> the side that you're on ends, instead of having to take this out, pull out the tape flip it. If I can stop dropping this freaking thing, what you can do is 
there's this little switch on here. This bottom one right here that says direction. You flip it and it reverses the mechanism. I could probably show you them in a little bit more detail if I open this up, which I'm debating on doing in this video. If I do, I'm probably gonna do the, probably gonna unclip the little tabs off camera because it's a little bit tedious and I doubt you guys wanna see me do it. Now because there's no really interlock, I can kinda show you what the mechanism does when you swip when you switch direction from this point of view. You know, when you press play, you can kind of see how the playhead moves up like that. I'm not sure if I can really show this on camera. Note where that pinch roller is and note that this other note this other pinch roller. Eh, I can't really, but if I flip the switch. Oh yeah, gotta do it with this off. You can kind of see the, well no. Hold on, I'm failing at this. It's a little bit on the sticky side at the moment. I'll, I can't really get it on camera. I'll show you it later. Hold on. So yeah, to open this thing up, pull out my screwdriver. Gotta put the phone down again, because I can't do... I don't have that many hands. Okay. In order to get this off, what you do, unscrew all of these four. One here, one here, one here, and one here. Once you get those off, then you just Carefully pry this thing open with either a black stick or a flat blade screwdriver. Um, <clears throat> I'll come back once I get this thing pried off. Because I don't want to bore you with opening this. Be right back. Okay, before I show you guys the guts of this thing, I will mention that this is this front is painted plastic. So, you should be careful with it. Uh, make sure it doesn't get scratched up too much. Put it only on soft surfaces. It's not that bad yet. It's nothing I can't deal with. There's some paint chips in pretty much each of the corners. It probably won't come out good on camera, but... <clears throat> it's not bad, considering how old it is. Moving to the other side. You have all the mechanical gears... And this little belt that I'm going to be replacing. Every once in a while, it the belt kind of flexes and comes out of its... Don't think it's going to do it now without I'm recording. But yeah, there's a lot of play in this belt. And it's kind of loop. It's kind of losing its belt properties. It's on its way to turning to mush. It's not all the way there yet. It still kind of works sometimes. I did have this part before and I did clean it with isopropyl alcohol and helped a lot because when I first got this, it wouldn't even try playing a tape. I got to work for a couple hours then because isopropyl alcohol is not a permanent fix on rubber belts, it went back to not working. But that's okay, because there's a guy on um, eBay that's selling these belts for about 
five bucks plus shipping. And then you also have this, uh, looking at the board, you have uh, this blue potentiometer that's marked speed. That's where I'm calibrating the um, speed of the motor. Like if your tape's playing too fast or too slow, you can tweak that and you can recalibrate it, which I will be doing not in this video, but in another video. And then you have this little rechargeable clock battery for the front panel. It does hold a charge, though it doesn't have one at the moment. I'm not sure how long the charge would last. It's a 20 some odd year old battery, so even fully charged, I wouldn't expect it to last as long as when it was new. I'm not sure if it's, I'm not sure how replaceable that would be. It's soldered on, but I could look into it. Then you got, there's nothing really else. You can kind of see what that reverse direction does with the gears because this middle gear right here pivots where it goes. So if I flip the switch, if I can get it with one hand, yeah, it moves. And each of these gears goes to those uh, two whatchamacallits inside here that go into the tape spindle. So that's it. yeah. I'm probably not gonna put this back together because I don't want to break the plastic clips in. It's frankly a pain in the ass to get those things undone. But I definitely will be doing another video when I get the parts in to replace this belt and get it all fixed and working like new again. I'll probably uh, clean it up a little bit because I want it to look nice. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it afterwards. I might sell it. I might hold off because these things are starting to rise in value a little bit. And there's not, surprisingly, portable cassette players don't really come up in thrift stores that often. So I think they're coming a little bit more scarce as they age. But, yeah, I'm not sure when I'll be able to do another video. I'm not expecting it. It's going to at least be another couple weeks because it's going to take time for that thing to ship from overseas. Since the build's from an international seller. I'll probably um link his, link him in the, in the video description. Anyways, uh. Thanks for watching if you held out this far, and good for you, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.